Hey Tim, hey everyone else, welcome back to Four Running Shoes. I am on the floor today, I'm messing with the format and um, realised I haven't really put much effort into a Four Running Shoes video in quite some time and um, instead of spending 20 minutes after work on a Tuesday, I'd spend a little bit of time, you know, get things set up. I've got the, the proper camera, I've got a microphone, I've got a light even. You know, I can, I can show you those if I'm fast enough. Here's, here's the phone that, which I typically film things in and oh, there we are. Nice. And um, so I thought I'd like to talk about some things because I have some thoughts. I'm also ripping off the Vlogbrothers format for this kind of video. I'm also sitting in a chair. It's the format. This was my last week before I commence my next marathon training block. So over the last few weeks, I have been building my distance back up and uh, the number of runs per week back up as well. So then I'm ready to hit my marathon training in a good position. I'm not hitting it exactly where I'd like to due to having an injury which took me many weeks to recover from after my marathon and then getting sick. And that's had an impact. I'm on my run commute, it's Thursday, and it's the first time I've done this route since March. It's been about four months, almost five months, and I'm not as fit as I was. I'm also standing in front of this bookcase. It's the format. I am not as fit as I used to be, Tim, and I don't like it, but that's where I am. And, you know, I was running that route on Thursday that, I've run many times before, uh, many times earlier in the year leading up to a marathon. There is a section of that run where there's about a two kilometer hill and it it's a fairly good one. Like it, it gains 150 to or so meters over the two kilometer climb. So it's, it's a reasonable hill, uh, but it's one that I've run a lot before. And I remember it being a lot easier than it was for me on Thursday. And uh, that's just an indicator that, yeah, I'm nowhere near as fit as I used to be. I did a lot of hill training earlier in the year and... I am not as fit as I used to be. I also have the data now to back it up. So I, at the end of last year, I finally became a Strava premium subscriber. So I'm now paying for Strava. We did that so that I could see the year in sport last year, Tim. And I now have access to the fitness score. So they give you a, a number and I'm a very data enthusiastic person. I like to be able to see my data and that's interesting. And, um, after my marathon, it was sitting just above 80. So pretty, pretty fit. Uh, and this month it's dipped below 30. So I've got the numbers to prove as well that I am not as fit as I used to be, which is hard. I'm back on the floor again because not being as capable or as able as you once were is a, is a really heavy feeling. And the floor is a good spot to, uh, kind of hang out and gather your thoughts. So I'm thinking that, yeah, I'm, I'm not as able as I used to be. Uh, I'm not as fit as I was when I ran my marathon back in April due to injury and sickness. I haven't had as much running. And so naturally I have dropped fitness. I think that mindset and attitude is uh, something that I should be thinking about going into my next marathon season. I have some choices to make. I could choose an attitude that uh, is looking at the deficit and wanting to punish myself for letting my fitness fall and punish myself back into form. I could make my next few months leading up into my marathon a miserable experience. You know, I've dropped a lot of cardiovascular fitness over the last few months. I've gained a little bit of weight, which over the course of my training period, I will likely lose again. And I could view all of these things uh, from a yeah, deficit attitude and mindset. But Tim, I don't think that's a healthy way to train and I don't think it's a healthy way to do life. I'm standing up again this time to signify that I'm being hopeful and I'm choosing a positive attitude. I can make some choices here about the attitude that I choose to bring into my next season. And I want to be grateful and I don't want to compare too much to the person who ran the marathon in April of this year. I'm confident that I can probably actually get to that level of fitness. It's just going to take some work. I cannot change what's happened over the past three months. I can't time travel. It's impossible. So what's where I am now is where I am now. The only thing that I can have an impact on is what I do over the next three months leading up to this marathon. I suppose in the principle of you know time and consistent effort over time, is that 
you know, eventually things will happen and you will get there. If I continue to put one foot in front of another, I will make it to my destination. Time will continue to press on and it's up to me what I do with that time. I could beat myself up. I could make this a really miserable experience for me, or I could choose to be grateful for what my body can do. And even now, like my fitness is pretty good. You know, I can run 10 kilometers pretty comfortably. (laughs) So my fitness is still pretty good, but I'm at the risk of comparing myself to a former version of myself before I was sick and injured and um, had a really hard time running for a period of time because of those things. So I suppose over the next little while, I'm choosing to be grateful and I'm choosing to look forward at my goals and enjoy this next season of training. Tim, I really enjoyed your last video. I'm really pleased that your marathon training is going well. It was great to go on that long run with you. Well, be watching you go on the long run. And uh, yeah, I think it's really great that you're getting some really good distances in and some really good times this far out from your marathon. You've still got a little while and you know that sub three hour for you uh, might be possible. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a really good job and I'm looking forward to seeing what you have for this week. So I'm looking forward to seeing your video on Thursday and I'm looking forward to sharing my next video on Tuesday, which will be my first week of my marathon vlog. So I will see you then. Take care, everyone. We'll see you next time.